Shalom friends and welcome to Bethel FedEx Tashlik service. Tashlik is customarily performed on the afternoon of the first day of Rosh Hashanah. Since this year's first day occurs on Shabbat, uh, it is moved to the second day. So the appropriate time to begin Tashlik is on Sunday, the second day of Rosh Hashanah. It is a symbolic expression of our casting our sins into the flowing waters and it is inspired by a passage from the book of Micah. This brief service which Cantor Melissa and Rabbi Jenny and I will uh, read is to be found on our website at www.bez613.org under Worship, High Holy Days, Hashlik Service in the Rosh Hashanah section. Welcome to our Tashlik service and our warmest wishes to you and your families and all our friends for Shana Tova. We begin giving our expression of joy for coming together. Whether close or physically distant, we are together on this Rosh Hashanah. Hine Matov, how good it is to come together as a community. Hine matov yomanayim Shevet achim gaham yachad Hine matov yomanayim Shevet achim gaham yachad Hine matov Shevet achim gaham you will cast Tashlit, all of your sins, into the depths of the sea, says the prophet Micah. By performing the ceremony of Tashli, we express our hope that God will forgive our failings and grant us renewal in the year to come. Gathered by water, we recite prayers asking for forgiveness. We throw breadcrumbs or seeds into the water, a symbolic way of getting rid of our sins. For joyfully shall you draw waters from the fountains of salvation. As we throw pieces of bread or seeds into the water, we remember. We remember the times we disappointed family, teachers, friends, on this year, on this new year, we say that we are sorry. We are sorry for the times we were angry, the times we hurt others, the times we broke promises. At Tashli, we do Teshuvah, we turn. We turn from past mistakes to start again. We sing Tashivin. <laughs> afternoon of the second day of Rosh Hashanah on Sunday or during any of the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we invite you to find a natural body of waters near your home to which you can go with your family and your friends and in an appropriate socially distant way, cast seeds or pieces of bread into the water, symbolically getting rid of the mistakes and failures of the past year. 
At Hashli, we forgive. We forgive others and we forgive ourselves for sometimes not being all that we can be. At Hashli, we offer a prayer. We pray from the heart. Hashli means to pass the way. We throw away our sins as we prepare to throw bread crumbs or seeds into the water. Let us take a moment to think about something we would really like to change about ourselves. Let us think for a few moments. Now we take those thoughts, those prayers, those hopes, those aspirations. Get rid of what we must get rid of and retain and commit to continue building good lives, lives of blessing in the year ahead. We take a few moments to cast our seeds into the water. Removing the burdens we have been holding back that do not allow us to become the persons we can get to and become. Cantor will lead us in a beautiful song that gives expression to this hope. Return again. Return again. Return again. Return to the land of your soul. Return again. Return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are. Return to what you are. Return to where you are born and reborn again. Return again. Return again. Return to. The land of your soul. We shall not provide to cut you and family and friends, and all of Israel, and all of the world, experience a year of your health, the joys, and the joy. We shall not provide to cut you. We shall not provide to Leshana Tova Tikatehu Leshana Tikatehu Tikatehu Shana Tova Shana Tova Shana Tova